Very good morning, children. By yesterday, we finished our class work. That means we finished our question and answers. And today, we are going to write our textual exercises. Now, open your textbook, page number fifty-seven. Fill in the blanks to complete this flowchart. So here, they have given a flowchart. We have to complete the given blanks. Let us see. Dorothy and the scarecrow walked into. A great forest. They spent the night in the little cottage. In the morning, Dorothy heard a deep groan nearby. The Tin Man could not move because why? Yes, because his joints are not oiled for a long time. Yes. So now. because his joints had not been oiled for a long time dorothy fetched an oil can and oiled the tin man's joint isn't it dorothy oiled the tin man no yes the scarecrow been them slowly and carefully until they were they until they were free until they were free from rust and until they were free from rust and as good as new children once again i am repeating the scarecrow been them slowly and carefully until they were free from rust and as good as new the tin man said that the oiling had given him great comfort and had saved his life he thanked them for the kind deed okay now coming to d write true or false for these sentences so they have given some sentences for that we have to write true or false whether it is true or false let us check number 1 the scarecrow often stumble over the bricks because he was not wearing the right kind of shoes is it true because he was not wearing the right kind of shoes for that he stumbled like that no it is false dorothy told the scarecrow that she was from kansas it is true third one they found a cottage on the brick road true dorothy toto and the scarecrow slept soundly in the cottage false the tin man had been groaning for more than a year it is true dorothy ran back to the cottage to fetch an oil can and then oil the tin man's joints it is the children look at here a word made by joining two words is called a compound word match the column to make compound words write the new words here here they have given some uh, words and from that words we have to join each other and we have to rewrite here a new word rewrite the new word what are compound words when two or more words are joined together to create a new word that means uh, by joining two or more words we get a new word we get a new word it has a new meaning in the word for example it is sunflower snowball grandmother cupboard toothbrush like that okay now let us check scare road break 
sun day actor here side shine light crow noon fast so now we have to match these two words and we have to write a new word in the given blank scare crow it is scare crow right road side road side break yes correct it is break fast break fast sun very good children yes sun shine sun shine day light day light after noon yes you are exactly right my dear children it is after noon now what we have to do is here we have fill the blanks using these words we have to fill the given blanks here right let us check now choose the correct compound word from exercise g to complete these sentences you will not need all the words so here already we have written some compound words using this compound words we have to fill these blanks have you ever seen a dash in a field yes it is scare crow what did you eat for dash today it is breakfast did you see the dog sitting by the dash i think it was waiting to cross the road yes it is road side it's such a lovely day let's go to the park and enjoy the warm it is sunshine it is